You're listening to the Back Porch Talk Podcast. Danny and Jason had many discussions and debates on the back porch while making pivotal investment moves with assets. That's right, with trading cards. They welcome you to the back porch and right into those discussions about current sports news with a fresh and unique twist. So come on and join us. And now, Danny, on to the return of our trading car scenario. Who we got? So, Jason, we have two tonight. Uh, first trading card scenario is Jalen Hurts 2020 Panini Prism rookie card for Lamar Jackson's 2018 Panini Prism rookie card. A couple quick bios. Jalen Hurts went to Alabama, uh, transferred to Oklahoma his senior year because of Tua, and was drafted 53rd overall by the Philadelphia Eagles. He has one Pro Bowl. 7,900 yards passing, 44 touchdown passes, almost 1,900 yards rushing with 26 touchdowns. Lamar Jackson went to Louisville and was drafted 32nd overall by the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Two-time Pro Bowler, 2019 MVP, one-time All-Pro. 12,000 yards passing with 100 yards, 101 touchdown passes, 4,400 yards rushing and 24 touchdowns. Jason, who do you want in your portfolio? This return is epic. This return of the trading car scenarios is epic, man, because I've had, I've been going back and forth on this one right here. Lamar Jackson is an MVP. He, he did win an MVP. Um, Jalen Hurts was in the running for an MVP. Out of these two quarterbacks, only one has made it to the Super Bowl, to the big game. In this league, it's about what? It's about championships and it's about rings. I, I do admire what Lamar Jackson is doing right now. This is off the field, but mm-hmm. it was regarding contract. And in this particular instance, it's regarding getting a fully guaranteed contract. And what he's doing, I bet you there's going to be a lot of quarterbacks looking to do this moving forward. Having said that, though, Danny, we're talking about what's going on on the field. Now, if I take this card, I can tell a story. I believe that Jalen Hurts is going to be in the running for an MVP run again here, or he's going to be a candidate again here. And I think Philadelphia is positioned to possibly, possibly make a return into the big game because the NFC is is not as strong. Mm -hmm. With that, man, I'm going to have to go with Jalen Hurts because Jalen Hurts is a dual threat as well. We haven't seen anything like like Lamar Jackson since uh, Michael Vick, the speed, et cetera. But the issue that I see Baltimore having is pieces around him. I don't think they have enough pieces around him to for him to be successful to make it into the Super Bowl. The offensive line seems to always to be hurt, banged up, whatever the case may be. Lamar Jackson gets banged up. He doesn't have the receivers. Uh, he doesn't throw as much, whatever the case may be. Jalen Hurts has all that. He made a significant improvement from last year to this year. I'm going Jalen Hurts, Danny. Who you got? Jason, this was definitely tough. And it's hard from the standpoint of, like, I look at Jalen Hurts and his setup with the A.J. Brown trade and the moves the Philadelphia front office has made now around him puts him in a way better position, especially in NFC, where he can have that continued success where he's, you have to respect his running, but you have to also respect his arm. And that's one key difference, I think, between the two of them is Jalen Hurts has better accuracy from a throwing perspective, from what I've seen. The problem is it's hard to compare because Lamar doesn't have an A.J. Brown. He has Mark Andrews, but with their injuries, like you mentioned, it's hard to get that consistency and 
I think that's one of the things that's hurt Lamar is having that consistency because if he's on the field, usually the players around him were injured or whatever the case may be, not making any excuses, but it's just what it is. So it's hard to get, and they still want, they still win. And that's a credit to the Baltimore organization, even though they have all these injuries. So back to the card and I'm looking at a similar situation situation with you of if Jalen hurts can build upon this year and make that run again to the Super Bowl, and not knowing right now where Lamar Jackson is going to be, if he'll be in Baltimore or not, how does that impact him in his trajectory? He's a great player, but depending on the situation he ends up in, and if he stays in Baltimore, what are they going to put around him? Because that's always been the question. He doesn't have, he's never had a number one receiver. He's had great He's had good receivers around him at times, but the main piece he has is Mark Andrews, which is his tight end. As much as I like Lamar's card, I'm also going to go with Jalen Hurts just based on the position he's in right now and how he can build upon that. And they can make multiple runs because the NFC is going to be down for a while. So if Philadelphia can manage around the salary cap, I think they'll be fine. And I'll take Jalen Hurts' card as well. Thank you for joining us at Back Porch Talk Podcast. You can also join us on Twitter by tweeting us at back underscore podcast. For more information, you can go to our website, which is backporchtalkpodcast.com. You can also email us at backporchtalkpodcast at gmail.com. Again, thank you for joining us. And remember that there's enough hate in the world. So go ahead and spread a little love. Thank you.